the follow-up video on the uh, LEGO Digital Designer app. So, first up, we have, to download it, you uh, need a Mac computer or a Windows computer. So, I have a Windows computer right here, so I'm going to be showing you it right now. So, I already had downloaded it. Basically, once you download it and get into it, it'll say, the internet access failed. Just press OK, and basically, it'll just load up then. Um, launching application, that's what it says, and it just takes time. And there we go. So it loads up, um, and we have this right here. So these are my mocks that I made. I'll just go into my, let's see, this cabin. This is the cabin. I'm pretty sure that's the right one. This is the right one. So you just launch the model. This is basically what happens. You can see it right here. So this is the digital designer. I made this in the digital designer. There's some cool stuff you can do. Like you can go into, um, say, view mode. And you can change its background. There's a thing called it slows it basically blows it up. You can look at all the pieces you used. mode and there's so many pieces to choose from it's really great how they all have all the colors it's all the different pieces plates flat plates printed and there's the minifigures minifigures accessories here that's kind of cool so yes I do my building off here because it's not that glitchy and it's very nice um, and then I will show you the next one. It is Studio 2.0. So basically, what I did here is I did not create this one on Studio. But what I could do is basically, when I press Create New, I can ju you can just go to File and then you can import, and then you can basically import a model. But yeah, I'll just, um, I already imported it so I can just open it really quickly. And basically it will open it in studio. And that's what it looks like. The minifigure does not work correctly in studio so I can just delete him easily. And then basically, this is how I render my images. I render them through studio. So then that is the exact same as this one, just in a different app. So this is the easiest one to create in, and then this one is where I render it. It says render here, and you press the button, and you can like, have some fun with this. Maybe go there, that looks pretty good. Maybe a bit out. Like... Ah, that's pretty good. You can go high, medium, very high. Um, medium, that's probably okay for now. And all you have to do is just press render, then you can just save it. I'll just say five. I'm gonna save it, and then it will export basically, and you will get a variety amount of like code on the screen just for a tiny bit, and then it will render your image. I'll show in a second, and there we go. Basically, there's a progress up here. It's zero percent right now. Estimated, it thinks it's going to take around 13, 14 minutes. And right now it's been around 10 seconds. So that's how long it took so far. 0%. And you'll see once it starts getting presented, it was like, it's just unravels little squares. And then I think it will go over the whole thing again and make it more clear. That's what, yeah, like you see there's squares right here now. Now it rendered it to make it more clear. And then it'll go over it for a second time to make it even more clear. So, yes, that's what it's doing right now. And, yeah. So, I will uh, show you some differences between the two apps. And so, so, yeah, um, with my rendering, I did not finish rendering image. Um, but, yeah, you sort of get the concept. All you have to do is press re render, basically. I already have a bunch of renders of this image. Um, but, yeah, so I would suggest you build all your stuff through here. You can go to home again, press um, just a free build, and basically all you have to do, yeah, I'll show you some, some 
stuff about this app. So like say we go to the one by four section, just go here, you want to place it here, and then you can like duplicate it. Then you can use the arrow keys to move it around. And then you can like if you just keep pressing on it, you can just keep duplicating. And then you can build like a house or whatever you really want. So yeah. That's how this app works. And then there is some just other random random parts. There's a lot of parts that you can get. I've never used these tube things before, but I have to see how this works. I'm not exactly sure, never. It's a bit weird because it's sort of bendy, but it's hard to bend like that. Oh, maybe a flex tool. Oh, that's kind of cool. Never thought of that. So it flexes the tool. That's kind of cool. That's neat. That's neat. That's really neat. That's really weird, but that's kind of cool. So, yeah. Okay, there. That's how you put it on. Wait. There we go. And then you can take this side and put it right. Whoa. <laughs> and then, yeah, you could sort of just, like, put it down. There we go. Oh, my, my bad. There we go. No, no, no. Wrong one. There we go. Okay, so that's how it works then. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You have all that stuff. And then we'll go to the next app. It's the studio one. This one's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll show you the inside of my building. My building actually. Just like um, I'll just go from here. Do that. And bop. So I deleted all that stuff. You just get in here. I won't save this, so don't worry. Nothing's gonna be lost. Accidentally added a part there. So this is my inside. It just has a couple little cupboards and some cups, a little sink, table, chair, fireplace, my little log cabin. And yeah, that's basically it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.